Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. An electron of mass m e orbits around an alpha particle of mass m alpha in a circular orbit of radius r. Which expression gives the speed of the electron? So what is written here is like this is the alpha particle and what is the alpha? It is the nucleus of helium and there is one electron which is revolving here. Obviously, this electron is being acted upon by the electric force which is trying to or which is actually acting like the centripetal force. So, uh, or you can say that there is a centrifugal force also. This is just another kind of an explanation. But if you don't know what is centrifugal force, please don't get confused. And if you already know what is centrifugal, very well. So at the end of the day, the, the electrostatic force, that is this. And what about the alpha? The charge on alpha is uh, 4E. Oh, no, sorry, 2E. What is alpha particle? Basically, alpha particle is the helium nucleus. And what is there in the helium nucleus? There are two protons. And there are two neutrons and the electrons of this helium atom have been removed so obviously it is having two positive charge so this is known as the alpha particle fine so alpha particle is having the charge of 2e and the electron is having the charge of 1e so the force will be this divided by the radius of the orbit square now this is the electrostatic force which would be experienced by the electron due to the alpha particle now, this will be equal to the centripetal force because without centripetal uh, force, uh, the electron will not be able to move in a circular orbit. So, if it is a circular orbit, there has to be a centripetal force. That is why we can just compare it mv squared by r, where m is the mass of the electron, not the alpha particle. It is the mass of electron. Fine. Now, we are going to compare these two. This radius and radius gets cancelled out. We want to find the expression for velocity. And I believe it is clearly written here. It would be 2ke square divided by me into r square root. So it is 2ke square. Okay, in B option, it is alpha. So in A option, it is mass of electron in the denominator. So yes, the answer will be A. And let us see. From the mark scheme and absolutely correct the answer is a so for this question particularly you must be knowing two three concepts number one that in this case the electrostatic force is providing the required centripetal force and number two the formula for the coulombic force is given by this and the charge on the alpha particle is to be taken as plus 2e the charge on electron is taken to be as e no problem with the negative sign we can just work around with uh, with the magnitudes here so this and the number three is that the centripetal force is given by mv squared by r. You just equate these two and find the expression for the velocity of the electron. This is how we do it. My dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also share the video with all your friends. All the best. Bye.